Ryder Strong and Will Friedel, two performers from Boy Meets World, have come forward about their experiences with guest star Brian Peck's purported manipulation and grooming both before and after his stint on the venerable sitcom. The men spoke with family therapist Katie Morton about the difficult subjects of grooming, childhood sexual abuse, and their effects on victims. On Pod Meets World, along with former castmate Danielle Fischel, according to the official description of the most recent iHeart podcast episode. Peck, now 63, was found guilty in 2004 of sexually abusing an unidentified Nickelodeon child actor for years after. Boy Meets World, concluded. He was then accused of eight counts of sexual abuse and served 16 months in prison. The forthcoming ID docuseries, Quiet on Set, which investigates the alleged exploitation of minors employed in show business in the late 1990s and early 2000s, is anticipated to delve into his crimes. But before his wrongdoings were made public, Peck was accused of inappropriately invading the actors of Boy Meets World, both during and after his appearance in Season 5, which ran from October 1997 to May 1998. I wasn't a big party animal. Really, I didn't do any of that. However, I was working a lot after Boy Meets World. And this guy had become so much a part of my life that I took him to three shows. 47-year-old Friedel recalled, going on to talk about the tight bond he eventually formed with Peck. This was the kind of thing where you wanted to hang out with the person he depicted, who was this terrific, humorous man who was extremely good at his work. I spoke with him, saw him, and spent time with him every day. Despite their 20-year age difference, Strong, 44, claimed that he and Peck finally went together. All the time. For her part, Fischl, 42, said that Peck was unusual from most. Boy Meets World, guest stars in that he wanted to spend as much time as possible with the main cast. Perhaps the other grown-ups on set ought to have asked, why are you guys having lunch with this guy? Why is this guy going to Ryder's house for a party? She questioned, speculating that the adults present were reluctant to speak up since Peck identifies as gay and they didn't want to come across as prejudiced toward gay people. It's possible that they held back on saying it out of fear that it would be interpreted as homophobia rather than as this is a limit, homosexual or not. This is an adult and child boundary. Fischl said elsewhere that Peck appeared to be more interested in male stars, but added that none of the younger cast members were concerned about Peck's sexual orientation. I also believe that's significant to Ryder and Will's story regarding why he became such close friends with the two of you she remarked. And I did occasionally have lunch with him, but only when I was invited by someone else. He didn't really try to learn more about me. He didn't get as ingrained in my life. After the show, I never heard from him again. For more you adore page 6. In 2003, when Peck faced accusations of sexual abuse of minors, he requested Friedel and Strong to defend him in court, and they complied because Peck had helped him land a movie role when Friedel was missing auditions because of crippling anxiety. Friedel believed he owed Peck that much. We're seated in that courtroom on the incorrect side of all that. Turning around, the victim's mother exclaimed, Look at all the celebrities you brought with you. Furthermore, what you've done to my child remains unchanged, Friedel remarked. I just wanted to die as I sat there. What the hell am I doing here? Was how I felt. The entire thing was terrifying. Nevertheless, they sent letters to the judge endorsing Peck's moral fiber. Friedel remarked, The fact that we did it doesn't change the fact that we weren't told the whole story. I still find it difficult to put into words everything I'm experiencing internally. Strong claimed that he was shaken by his experience with Peck around seven years prior at an industry function. He called Peck a serial name dropper and stated, the story that he was telling me was nonsense, but what he was letting me know was that he was with famous people who validate him and put him in a category of Hollywood royalty. I never saw him do that because it was so effortless when we were on the set of Boy Meets World, but he did it all the time. I remember being so terrified the F. K. out that I had to leave this party. Though Friedel hasn't seen Peck in over 20 years, He's still coming to terms with his regret at supporting the sex offender against his victim. Here, there is a real victim. 
and he made us turn against the victim so that we are now on his side. That is the moment when he declared, I look back on that as my eternal shame for this whole thing. Being taken in by a skilled actor and manipulator, I could attribute that to simply being young, but that's just the way things work. It's terrible. The thing I can't and haven't been able to get over is when there is an actual victim involved and I find myself on the abuser's side. I will use that for my personal development. When page six reached out for comment, a PEC representative didn't get back to us right away.